Hey everybody, welcome back to Shock and Sherlock. I'm your host, Herschel Gillis, and today I am reviewing part two of Split. If you haven't seen my first review of Split, I'm going to include it at the end of this video. Um, it was just posted a few days ago. Go back and watch that first, uh, because this is the second half. Um, I already explained what Split is in that video, so make sure to watch it. Uh, in this one, though, I'm going to be covering why Gardenia's segment, Torture Theater. Now, in Torture Theater is a bit different from Jack Mulvaney's section, um, The Last Form of Loving, uh, in the way that this one is more of like a performance art piece, um, or a series of performance art pieces. Um, there's not really like a connecting story to them, it's just performance art pieces. Um, it's also much shorter, it's about 30 minutes, um, and yes. Um, this video is going to contain some heavy spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers or you want to go in blind, um, just go buy it. It's a, it's really worth it. Support the underground, and yeah, um, some of you might even want to buy it after I talk about this part, but I'm going to spoil it because there isn't really a way to talk about this one without spoiling it, and why it is truly the most extreme thing I've ever seen, and the effect that it had on me. So, um, where to begin with this? Um, so, all of the short segment performance art pieces in this involve self-harm in some way. Um, be it from Daniel or um, one of the people in his group. And when I say self-harm, I mean self-harm, okay? Um, if you were sensitive to that, it, this probably is not a film for you, um, and probably not going to be a review for you either because I'm going to be talking about it a lot, so no shame in skipping it if that is something that bothers you, but if not, continue watching because this is going to be a crazy review. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep a more calm demeanor for this one because I don't want to like sensationalize this either and make people not want to watch it, but... Um, okay, we'll just start with some of the things that you're going to see. Um, scissor inflicted wounds on Daniel's chest. Um, Daniel giving oral pleasure, I don't know if I can say whatever on YouTube sometimes, um, to a serrated knife. Um... Daniel nailing his testicles to a table. Um, yeah, a woman cuts a piece of her... A flap. I don't know if I... That's, I know that's not, like, a uh, correct term, but I don't even know if I can use the medical term because... It, YouTube flags things really weird, but yeah, she cuts that off with scissors, and in the most extreme act I have ever seen put to film, that is not like a gore mixtape or anything like that, it's something silly, um, the most extreme act of self-harm that I have ever seen in a film, because it was body modification, and Daniel cuts off his, his pinky finger. And now, you might be wondering, what's so extreme about all this? You know, like, people do this with special effects in films and everything all the time. Well, the, the catch here is that these things are not special effects. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, sorry about the lighting, guys, by the way. Um, yeah, all the stuff that I mentioned previously happens for real and I'm still trying to like process having watched it now Daniel had been advertising split um, previously and they had the deal that if this was not the most extreme film you've ever seen it has a money-back guarantee and I thought well that's just one of those things you know where people say 
this film was so gross that you need a barf bag and people are passing on the theater and everything. No, this is the most extreme film I've ever seen. And no one's going to go into this and say otherwise. There is no film out there that is this extreme. I am not using hyperbole. I'm not over-exaggerating. Um, it is that. It is that film. Um... And for everybody that's been wanting to find, like, the next, you know, most shocking film that isn't, like I previously mentioned, like a gore mixtape or something, because those are very pointless and silly, you're gonna want to watch this one, because this is, this is gonna be the peak, presumably for a very long time. Um, I've seen a lot, and I've seen GSKD and all those, you know extreme body mod stuff and this is worse um as far as the levels that it goes to but away from that away from the shocking parts my thoughts on the actual content um i found it interesting i i enjoy performance artwork um people like ronathe i find interesting as well um and there's you know i can't dissect art very well i'm I don't have an eye for that, unfortunately, but um, it was interesting visually, certainly, and sort of like the setups and everything were very interesting to watch, and the soundtrack was very experimental and grating, and it felt like the movie was trying to fight you at times, and I really... I watched this film twice, I didn't really care for that the first time, but when I watched it the second time, I actually felt like it enhanced the experience of the film. Um, and it feels very grimy as well, and like homemade, and it adds to this really like oppressive atmosphere. And yeah, I do recommend this one. I mean, if you're looking for the next big thing, you this is it. Um, and along with Jack Mulvaney's part, Split is without a doubt probably going to be the most memorable project of the year for me personally. Um, this is not something you forget easily, even if you wanted to. <laughs> Um, I talked with people that had seen this as well. Um, you know, my, my friends at Sick on Cinema and Spooky Celluloid. Um, and everybody sort of had the same takeaway from my Gardenia's part, that it is the most extreme. Um, I was, I'm friends with all those guys. And um, we were just talking about how intense and crazy that segment really the entire torture theater project is um and we were talking about jack mulvanerty's part and how that's sort of like what you know that's sort of the future of fetish horror in our opinion um so this is definitely a film to check out contact daniel for a copy of it um or contact uh, jack i believe it's on newfilmorder.bigcartel um it's Jack's segment um, with a couple of his short films as well. Um, offered by David Stohan or Stojan. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that again, but it's on his website to buy there. So one of those two places you should get split. Um, it is quite the experience. It is the most extreme film I've ever seen. Um, I'm not even going to make jokes about it because it's just... There's not really a way. And for that, I applaud Daniel. I applaud everybody in White Gardenia. I applaud Jack Mulvenerdy for his part as well, because this is a great project. This is what... This is true underground independent cinema. And it is very intense and abrasive and oppressive. And if you're looking for that, and, you know, August Underground doesn't quite do it for you anymore, this is the one. Um, they're also both really nice guys, as I've talked about so you know you can feel good about supporting them as well so yeah that's it for today though i've been your host herschel gillis signing off it's your thoughts your editing zero brain cells and zero planning make sure to subscribe if you haven't keep your notifications on i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm doing a q a video i did get a lot of questions but if you want to still get one in i'm still available for questions go on my instagram i always leave the link in the description go on there dm me leave the comment on my post whatever you want to do and i'll answer them tomorrow so yeah Thanks, guys, for watching. Also, a huge thank you to everybody that ordered from Banana Box releasing. It was our biggest day of the year on Black Friday. So many orders, keeping me busy. Um, but 
thank you for that. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. So, yeah, signing off for today. Thanks for watching, guys.